Democrats and Republicans are butting heads over the president's nomination of Congressman John Ratcliffe of Texas to replace Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats. Ratcliffe is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. He grilled former special counsel Robert Mueller during his testimony last month. Like the president, Ratcliffe is critical of the Russia investigation, but he's also focused on cybersecurity. He co-sponsored legislation with Democrats that focuses on election security. Just joining us to discuss Ratcliffe's nomination, the opposition by Democrats is Congressman Rick Crawford of Arkansas. He's a member of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. You bet. Good to be with you. Congressman, I mean, the, the accusations currently against uh, Mr. Ratcliffe are that he embellished his biography and that he's too partisan to serve in such a critical intelligence role. Based on your experience on the committee, I, I we'd love to get your thoughts on that. Yeah, I, I don't see that. I, I think probably what you're experiencing there on the other side is just the idea that, um, you know, you've got somebody who's demonstrated, obviously, a commitment to reform in the intelligence community. And, and for whatever reason, they find that to be unacceptable. Look, I mean, he's got a he's got an outstanding record as a former federal prosecutor. He's prosecuted counterterrorism cases. He served on the Intelligence Committee, the Judiciary Committee, and the Committee on Homeland Security. So all of the things that we're concerned about that have a nexus with the intelligence community, this is a guy who's well qualified to address those issues and help to lead the intelligence community and, and uh, uh, implement some reforms that are much needed. I think part of the concern is that this nominee may be more loyal to President Trump uh, than to the Fidelity pre presenting the intelligence as it's found. Um, one of the reasons why the president seemed to not be that happy with uh, the previous or current DNI uh, director, Dan Coats, was that he was willing to be critical of the president. He was willing to disagree with him when the president was wrong about what the intelligence represents. What did you think of Dan Coats' tenure? Well, Dan Coats, I think, has, has had a, a long history of having served on the, uh, the Senate Intelligence Committee. I think he's well versed on the issues with regard to uh, the intelligence community. But if there's a disconnect between, between whoever that individual is and the president, uh, it's the president's uh, um, prerogative to make a change. I don't think that there's necessarily any kind of, you know, subterfuge here. Look, Dan Coats is a good guy. He, he's a uh, um, I think well qualified in, for the position he occupies, but they have they have a difference of opinion. Um, something's got to give. I mean, these cabinet members serve at the pleasure of the president, and so uh, he tendered his resignation. The president accepted it, and he's going to move on and, and nominate mm -hmm. Tom mm -hmm. Ratcliffe. So, Congressman, one of the things that we are most anticipating here is that the is that Mr. Ratcliffe could move forward on declassification declassification of documents, which uh, rumor has it that. Dan Coates is held up. Is that something based on your experience, especially on the committee, that you would expect to see under a Ratcliffe DNI? Well, I think I think Ratcliffe is committed to uh, as much transparency as he can provide with regard to uh, you know, maintaining uh, confidentiality where it's necessary. But if it's not, and then he reviews that and, and recommends declassification, then I'm sure the president would would um, take that appropriate action. But there are some things that the American people need to know, and we have to measure that against the national security uh, requirements of that information, that we don't make any um, uh, disclosures of sources and methods and things like that. But you're talking about a guy who is very well versed in these issues, is very well educated, and, and uh, certainly well qualified um, to occupy that position. Mm. We're learning more and more about the extent of Russian attempts to meddle in our election, including in infiltrating um, some of our critical election systems. Do mm. you believe that Congressman Ratcliffe would be committed to making sure that uh, that doesn't occur again? 100 percent. This is not new. This is something that um, uh, probably two years ago, maybe almost three years ago, we had former director of the CIA, John Brennan, in it, an open hearing, and he acknowledged in that open hearing that Russian uh, meddling had been going on for decades, that they'd employed a variety of active measures to try and influence our elections. This is not something that is unique to the United States. They do it everywhere. They do it in Eastern Europe. They do it in the Middle East. Wherever they um, attempt or seek to uh, attempt to influence uh, for their own good and their own uh, advantage, and that's what they've tried to do here in the United States. The issue is, uh, this is a guy who's worked on Homeland Security uh, Committee, has been very committed to election security, and will continue that commitment as a DNI. So I don't think there's 
there should be any concern about the level of commitment that John Ratcliffe has uh -huh. for election uh -huh. security. In fact, I would think that you would see even more because this is a, a very prominent issue, and you're talking about a guy who's been really at the, at the center of all this with regard to oversight and, and investigation of what actually went on with regard to Russian interference. So last question for you, sir. Whenever we see a DNI Ratcliffe, do you expect him to continue and to aid the current probe into the origins of the Russia investigation? I'm not sure it's necessarily the, the DNI's, um, it's in his purview. I don't like to use that term because it was overused in the recent Mueller hearing, but I think that what he wouldn't do is to interfere in that. I mean, I don't know that he's gonna play an active role in the investigation per se, but I think that to the extent that his role is relevant, I don't think you're gonna see any kind of action on his part to block anything. I think he would be very forthcoming and make sure that, that any and all information is provided in the, you know, in the context of national security. Uh -huh. All right, Congressman Crawford, thank you so much. Appreciate your insights this morning. You bet, thank you. Thank you, sir. We'll have more for you when Rising continues.